Welcome back everybody, this is Justin, your host for Justin Watches Movies, and today we'll be talking about um, one of the newer um, Marvel films by 20th Century Fox, and that is Fantastic Four, which stars um, Kate Mara, uh, Jamie Bell, um, Miles Teller, who is pretty good in that, uh, that um, drum movie, I think, not Drumline, Whiplash, that's what it was, um, and then Michael Jordan, which is surprise cast in here, um, the first uh, basketball Marvel star in here, and is directed by uh, Josh Trank, who directed um, a pretty uh, good family film uh, called Chronicles of Narnia. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely check it out. It's a very fun so My name is Lucy. But are you... Uh, forgive me. Are you what they call a girl? Of course I'm a girl. A human? Yes. Girls are human. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, wrong information. Once again, he directed Chronicle, which also starred uh, Michael Jordan in here, um, which was a very slam dunk performance. And Fantastic Four is a remake of the 2005 hit classic of the same name which stars the very talented Jessica Alba. And this time around, um, a younger cast here we have of these uh, older actors we had in the other films and we have known for um, the comic books, you know, a much older cast. We do have a younger cast here, um, I think about the age of like 17, 18 years old and here and uh, very smart people and they use their scientific abilities to create a transportation um, device to go into space and learn more about space and the humanity and you know more about life and there they uh, get powers and they come back to earth and use it for good you know uh, a lot like the Fantastic Four and what a lot of people you know gain superpowers you know they use it for good and that's what they do here and um, yeah, this film is um, it's it's an okay film you know there's a lot of there's a lot of buzz about this film you know Josh Trank I uh, came on to the set a lot of times drunk. Um, I feel like if I had a lot of money too, I would get drunk a lot too. So um, I understand your I understand you there, guy. Uh, you know, it's fun to get drunk and you know make movies. So um, I understand your your reason behind that. But um, still, Fantastic Four is a movie where I looked at it like a meal. Like I thought, like okay, if my friends came to me and said. Justin, let's go to this new hot restaurant in town. And I'm like, sure, I'm really excited to try this new hot restaurant. Well, we get there and uh, the waitress brings me out um, some appetizers and I'm um, like, okay, I'm really excited. And then my friends leave and I have to leave with them. And I'm like, I, I want the full meal, like, but I didn't get that. That's what like uh, this movie Fantastic Four is directed by Josh Trank is that it's, um, a movie that teases a lot and sets up them, you know, building up these suits and this transportation thing and understanding their powers and it's building up for a really um, pretty bad CGI third act of this film. So there's just a lot of this setup that uh, I felt like they could have, you know, cut down a little bit and uh, made it a little more fun. I know that they were trying to go for a gritty look, but this wasn't a campy film. It wasn't a gritty film. It was a very bleak film. You know, they tried to make it funny at times with this uh, Human Torch guy, you know, played by Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan was pretty funny in Space Jam, but uh, he just wasn't funny in here. It just didn't work with um, their chemistry. It just didn't really feel like a family. And that's what the Fantastic Four is. It's, um, it's a family. It's uh, Marvel's first family, and you're supposed to make it feel like a family, but their chemistry just didn't feel like it was a family. It really felt like they were acquaintances at times and just didn't you know, meshed together as a family. Uh, Dr. Doom uh, looked like he drank a lot of Gatorade in here, you know, it was pouring out of his face. As you know, Gatorade's a good drink, but calm down. He just uh, was a very rushed uh, supervillain, you know. The direction was cool with him at times. I liked how um, menacing he was, but it just felt like uh, they just rushed him a little bit too much. His motives, you just couldn't get into and uh, the stakes that were at the end of the film, you know, they're supposed to be high, but I just didn't feel like they were high enough for me to care. Like, okay, um, something's happening with Earth, but, you know, do I really want to care about these people that are dying on Earth? 
because I don't really feel like something's going on here. So Fantastic Four, um, for it being a remake, I think it is better than the, you know the one that the remaking uh, this you know the one that was before that the hit classic. Uh, it was okay film, uh, but Fantastic Four now here this one um, they tried to go this a different approach. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. But overall, it's um, a film that you know was very bleak and bland at times. So Just Watch Movies is going to give um, this movie Fantastic Four, this new 20th Century Fox Marvel film, a D plus. So if you guys have seen uh, uh, Fantastic Four, and I think this film would have been a lot better, you know, if they cast it like. Um, let's say Ryan Gosling as someone as uh, um, the, the stretchy guy, uh, uh, the stretchy man. I forgot his name in the movie. Uh, Miles Teller, the guy in there. Um, Reed Richards. If they would have cast someone like Ryan Gosling, I think that would have worked really well in this film. But if you guys have seen um, the new Fantastic Four and the previous Fantastic Four films, uh, who do you think is the hotter Sue Storm? Um, Jessica Alba or Kate Mara? Comment down below and don't get too pervy with it, you guys. Uh, let's keep it a nice, family-friendly, uh, who do you think is hotter? Kate Mara or Jessica Alba? So, this is Justin again for your host of Justin Watches Movies. And I'll see you guys later. And hopefully you guys uh, do like Fantastic Four a little more than I do. Um, if you guys do, let me know your thoughts on this film.